we're going to be looking at the radius of atomic nuclei. The size of an atom is in the order of 10 to the minus 10 metres, and the size of the nucleus is in the order of 10 to the minus 15 to 10 to the minus 14 metres. So that means that the atom is about 10 to the 4, 10 to the 5 times bigger than the size of the nucleus. If we consider a nucleus of radius r naught, where r naught is the radius of the nucleon, then the nucleus only contains one nucleon. When the nucleus has a radius of 2 r naught, then the nucleus will have 2 by 2 by 2 nucleons, that is 8 nucleons. And for a nucleus of radius 3 r naught, the nucleus will contain 3 times 3 times 3, that is 27 nucleons. So the radius is equal to n r naught, where n is an integer, 1, 2, 3 in this case. And we can see that the number of nucleons then is given by n to the power of 3. So if we substitute for n into this equation for radius, then we see that the radius of a nucleus is equal to r naught multiplied by the cube root of a. And so r will equal r naught when the nucleon number is equal to 1. And so when A equals 1, that represents a hydrogen nucleus, so R0 could be considered the radius of a hydrogen nucleus, which is made up of, of a proton. So R0 is the radius of a proton. And if we plot a graph of R against the cube root of A, we'd get a straight line through the origin, and the gradient of this line will equal R0. To determine the density of a nucleus, we use the equation density equals mass divided by volume. And the mass of the nucleus is approximately equal to the number of nucleons multiplied by the mass of a nucleon. And the volume of the nucleus, if we consider it a sphere, is equal to four thirds pi r cubed. And so if we substitute these values into the equation for density, we get this. And then we know the radius of a nucleus is given by this equation. And so if we substitute in for r into the equation for density, we get this. And the nuclear number a cancels so we're left with a density equaling three times the mass of a nucleon divided by four pi r naught cubed so the density is independent of the nucleon number so the mass of a nucleon inside a nucleus is approximately equal to this and R0 is about 1.4 femtometers, femto being times 10 to the minus 15. And so if we substitute these values into the equation, we get a density of the nucleus in the order of 10 to the 17 kgs per meter cubed. Density of atoms, however, is about 10 to the 3, 10 to the 4, kgs per meters cubed. So this shows that the atom is mostly empty space and the nucleus is extremely dense.